mine. Freedom here. Freedom is here. Yeah. Let's do a little walk and talk and talk a little bit more in detail about why I stopped taking C60. See a lot of the comments coming in, a lot of people commenting about the benefits of C60 and the potential good things to come out of it. Dude, I am all about it, man. Trust me. That's what sold me on the C60 as well. I thought, wow, I'd really like to get a lot of these benefits. And I started on it. I started taking C60. I'll tell you the story. See, uh, six months ago, what happened was I'm a big, huge fan of uh, Cliff High and Cliff High's work and Half Past Human, his for forecasting on predictive linguistics and where he uses a, a web bot tool that he invented, uh, he basically created, and this web bot goes out and scrapes the internet for data in the belief that all humans are psychic and because we're all psychic, uh, sometimes this psychic ability we don't know we have and it leaks out in words that we use. And now that we're in an internet age, ever since 1997, uh, Cliff High started scraping the internet for people's words and how they were using them differently and then took those words back in to basically create what he calls the web bot and his work. And so anyways, he's like a modern day Nostradamus, but he's not really like, you know, he's not like forecasting anything. All he's doing is taking the words and he's basically taking all these words in and those words are then interpreted into uh, how they're used in the future. It's a, it's a complex process, but it's actually rather simple and it makes a lot of sense if you believe that we are all psychic in some way. I'm sure we've all had an experience where you, know, you go out there and you feel like, you know, I know this is going to happen. I don't know why, but I just kind of feel it. It feels right and then something happens. Or you kind of sense like a premonition or a, you have a little premonition about something before it happens. Anyways, that's the idea of what the web bot and Cliff Heist that is. And that's how I first heard about this stuff, C60. Is I was, it was, you know, reading his reports and getting involved in, uh, you know, cryptocurrency and, and that whole space. And then, um, you know, I, I, he started talking about how the, the life would be extended in the future and we'd have a way to live a lot longer in the future. You know, this guy's like all about the future because that's what his whole business is on. And so then he started talking about C60 and he had a great, uh, he had a liver problem. He had a really bad liver. I don't know if it was a fatty liver or if it was just an unhealthy liver, but he, uh, he was sick, you know, he wasn't doing good. And if you look back at Cliff High's old videos, old work, he, he really did not look good. You know, really deep bags under his eyes and deep wrinkles in his face. And he looked like he was in pain. You know, he had a really bad liver, unhealthy. And it wasn't, I mean, yeah, he, I think he probably smoked when he was young. And, but it was just ultimately he was getting old. He was becoming an old man. That's what people do. And so he was kind of like on a quest. And I believe what he, he did is actually found the C60 in some of his linguistics. And so he saw it being used in the future when the word kind of populated up. And then that's how he was able to bring that back into his own existence and start using it. So he started using it and he started seeing benefits from it. And I believe he used it for like a year solid. And then he finally, on an interview with the Sarah Westall interview, the one that I saw, he talked about it. She kind of pried it out of him. And he wasn't like selling it or trying to push it on anybody or anything like that. He's not an affiliate of it. He doesn't make money by some people buying C60. Even if he did, he, maybe he deserves it. It could, maybe if it's going to help some people. So I, I was like, you know what? I'm really healthy already. Uh, I'll give it a shot. Maybe it's going to help me recover faster in the gym or maybe it'll even live a lot longer. There's a lot of incredible benefits of it that I, that I saw. And I was like, I got to get myself, you know, get myself some. So I did. Sunset, bro. Paradise. Yeah. Check this out. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right. So li listen, I started back on C60 in August. Like I was saying six months back. And when I first started on it, I was just taking a few drops at a time. Then I looked into it a little bit more and I realized, oh, I got I to gotta do a heavy dose on it. So I ordered a bunch and I took a bottle of it down. It had no effect on me. All right. Now, now, granted, it, it was like, oh, olive oil. Boom. I'm, I was used to, used to the olive oil because of my liver flushes, but it didn't have any effect on me, like noticeably. Now, granted, I have done 17 liver flushes. I have been on the H2O2 cleansing my body out, you know, doing all these things to create a lot of cleansing in the body. So 
there wasn't a lot of toxins to get out. I believe that's what C60 does help do is removing the old cells and the toxins. So now go fast forward ahead now to now we're here in April of 2018 and I had a little bit of a wake up call on the C60 on why I wanted to stop doing it. It was enough for me to realize that it wasn't for me. And, and here's, here's why the wake up call was, was, was a under further understanding from a video that I put in my last video was like about this guy, Tony Pantanelli, I believe it is. I don't really know much about him, but he did a talk about the nano aspects of C60, which is something that I am not at all. I'm, I'm not an expert in this nano stuff and it's complicated to me, but I'll tell you, <clears throat> yeah, but I'll tell you the nano stuff is, is something that is very real and something that I'm very, uh, aware of you know I don't want I, I, anyways, it was just something that I didn't it was a very vulnerable place put it this way when things can get in I realized that when things could get into the body pa passing the immune system it's almost like the body has no defense to it so I'm always been a person that is against needles you know I do not want a needle in me for anything dude you know I'm the person that doesn't want to get his blood drawn I don't want a needle near me because I know that if something is injected into me then my body has no defense mechanism against whatever that substance is. So I never have something injected to me. You know, I don't even know if I've even had vaccines. I mean, maybe my mom I, would, would know better if I ever had vaccines as a kid. If anything, that will be the last time. Oh, you know what? The last time I had things injected to me was when I used to have allergy shots. Oh God, that was horrible. That was as a kid though, you know, you had bad allergies and so they shoot you, shoot, shoot stuff in you. What a freaking terrible idea. God. So that would have been the last time I've ever had anything injected in me. And that was over 20 plus years ago. I'd say even 30 years ago. So I'm definitely against it. So the idea of this, this nano substance in the C60 getting into my body and my body having no defense mechanism against it, that kind of spooked me out a little bit. That my body could be under attack from these little nano substances. I didn't like that, you know, so. And the potential implications that could come upon that with our futuristic world that we're living in. So that being said there i realized that there were actually more risks involved in taking the c60 that i'm not willing to take and those risks are a very very high level which are very uh, i'd say woo woo as cliff i would say they're very woo woo risks and not, not worth me taking and those risks are potential programming meaning like losing my own free will in the future and there's absolutely no way in hell I would ever sacrifice that no matter what. You couldn't give me a, pay me enough money in the world to lose free will. So that being said, I also realized that the benefits and the good things that are coming with C60, not all, not all, because I know that they're talking about a lot of these things about preventing radiation. And I love that. I love that idea. Like, you know, you go around radiation and you go around these, these different devices and it's like, helps to protect you from that. I think that's beautiful. But most of the benefits I'm realizing are about the same as doing liver flushes. And I believe that in fact, what C60 in olive oil is trying to do is truly clean out the liver. And I think that's what a lot of people experience is they experience a somewhat of a liver flush feeling as their body begins to detoxifying itself of all the intracopathic gallstones as John Hopkins University likes to call them. So all that being said, I decided that I am absolutely not using C60. Instead, I'm going to continue on with the safe and natural and homeopathic remedy of just cleaning out my liver. You know, I, I'm just about done. As you can see, my skin, it, it looks pretty good. It looks really good, right? It doesn't have a lot of wrinkles on it. Even though I go sun tanning almost as much as I can, I go into an indoor tanning bed. I don't have a lot of wrinkles. I saw a friend of mine at the grocery store that I used to play college baseball with. He was the starting third baseman on the college baseball team. And I was like, the, the guy behind him, like as a freshman coming in, I was like, I gotta do this guy. And he had deep, deep wrinkles into his eyes deep really aged face maybe he's an alcoholic I don't know I love the guy if you ever see this video but either way I don't have that now I believe that has mostly to do with me cleaning out my liver so 
as opposed to talking about something that has a potential risk to it that is a very, very dangerous risk, I'm going to completely put my foot down against C60 and I recommend that everyone else who was considering it or looking into it or maybe on it themselves better take a very, very close look at themselves in the mirror and make sure they're willing to take that risk of potentially being programmed like an android and losing free will. If that's a 10% risk, no. Are you kidding me? There's no way in hell I would take that risk. Instead, let's eliminate the shortcut that this C60 is trying to take of cleaning out the liver. Because that's really what it's doing is it's trying to give people a shortcut into doing liver flush. That's really what I believe part of the benefit is, is all the benefits I've experienced from doing the liver flush. And instead, start from square one and do the liver flush, which all it is is olive oil and grapefruit juice, you know, and some Epsom salt and some apple juice to prep with or some citrus, citric acid. All these things you get at your, your little natural food store and they have absolutely no risk. I mean, there's absolutely no risk. The worst thing that could happen is you forget to do the Epsom salt, you know, before doing the liver flush, and then you have the pain of a gallstone attack. But that's stupid. So follow the freaking formula. Or the worst thing that could happen is you don't go and get the, the colonics and the enema before you do the liver flush, and you have this massive, you know, toxins get stuck in your colon because you didn't follow the procedure. So don't be an idiot. Follow the freaking procedure. Get the book Amazing Liver and Gallbladder Flush by Andres Morks. Go back and watch my playlist on the video on how to do it. I've done it, linked it many times. Um, and I've done links of videos on how to do it. So if you don't have the money to buy the book, then fine. You've got the information online, the videos. But make sure you follow those exactly and you don't mess up. And the main thing that people mess up on is they, they don't think it's a big deal to getting their guts cleaned out first. Okay, so that is a must. You must clean your guts out. That means going into getting it professionally done, colonic irrigation at a, at a colon hydrotherapist before and after the liver flush. So that's the main thing people mess up on. So as long as you're prepared to do that, I highly recommend it. You know, take action and start doing the liver flush because the benefits that you're going to receive from the liver flush are on the same lines as the benefit you get from the C60, but you don't have these insane amount of risks. And it's just a life-changing experience when we clean out our liver. We're supposed to clean out our liver anyways. I mean, it's just part of life. We gotta clean our livers out. We gotta go get the oil changed on our car. No one likes doing it. Sometimes you can go a long time without changing the oil on your car and it still runs. And sometimes you don't even really notice it. It's still running pretty good. But when you go in there, the guy's like, dude, this freaking oil filter is black, man. This is disgusting. Your car had a freaking horrible amount of abuse. What are you doing? Oh, I didn't know it was a big deal, changing the oil, not a big deal. Not, no one ever told me. It's the same idea with, this, with, the, with the liver flush is it is not really known. We're never told to clean out a liver. We didn't come with an instruction manual on how the bodies work. And so instead, you know, we have to like learn this stuff. I had to learn this stuff by myself. I just happened to come across the information and I, I was ready for it at the time. And I, and I took action. Amazing story on how I even found that information. I found the freaking book in my house one day. And I was miserable. I was unhappy. And I'm like, you know, this is a sign. I got to clean up my liver. And I started doing it. And I had this major transformational experience from it. And I continued on. And now I'm pretty much done with the liver flush. But when you do it, make sure you do it on the new moon. A little conclusion on why I stopped the C60. And how a liver flush, the olive oil and lemon juice of the freaking liver flush of all things gave me all the benefits, most all the benefits that a, that a C60 would ever have done by just getting all those intracratic gallstones out of my liver and is very safe, pain-free, free, completely free because you've got these things in your house now most likely, method. So it's a really an amazing process. I'm staying off the C60, no more. Hopefully it gives you a better idea as to why. I'll put a couple of videos at the end here, a playlist on how to do the liver flush that I've put in here in the past, and also a playlist on my vlogs in the liver flush. You guys aren't familiar with it. You know, I haven't talked about it in a month or two because, I mean, I'm freaking 17 liver flushes deep. So, But definitely, if you haven't started on the liver flush, you got to freaking do I I can't recommend it. That's the thing that transformed my health the most is a clean liver. It's like pressing reset, restart, born again. I love you. This is Gavin Mill. Time for my favorite thing in the world.
sun gazing. <laughs>